Good morning, Astral Ponderers. I'm Tess with your weekly Metaforecast to bring the poetry of the skies down to the actuality of daily life. This episode is for the week of Monday, November 23rd through Sunday, November 29th. Over the weekend, we had a seasonal shift from Scorpio's realm to Sagittarius's lift. What did we learn in the profound outer bounds, in the deep zone of our bones, where truth hangs around? What comes next, after an encounter with such mystery? French surrealist artist Yves Klein said, At first there is nothing, then there is a profound nothingness. After that, a blue profundity. At the age of 19, Klein and his two friends, the artist Armand and composer Claude Pascal, lay on a beach in southern France. They decided to divide the world between themselves. Pascal chose words, Armand chose the earth, and Klein chose the sky. What ensued was a lifelong obsession and devotion to the color blue. Signing the sky with his hand, he committed to a quest to reach the far side of the infinite. He saw that unlike other colors that arouse specific associative ideas, blue at most suggests the sea and the sky, and thus is beyond dimension. Sagittarius season celebrates this sense of blue, beyond dimension, a place to dream and feel a full sense of vitality. Though it's true that November is more known for its falling temperatures, the horse insists on acknowledging this place of blue space, this high of open sky. In his theory of colors, Goethe saw the blue sky to be the darkness of space, lit up by the presence of sunlight in our atmosphere. The deep space of beyond lit up before our eyes with each waking day under the blue of the skies. But what of the deep space that exists from within? Does it too become lightened, a blue sky built in? An inner blue sky lightened with optimism, hope, and acknowledgement, beyond just a knowing, a showing of knowing. You know the music is good from the depths of the dark, but nodding your head acknowledges the spark. That joke is funny, says the depths of you, but laughing acknowledges this fact to be true. Darkness made light in the truth of the blue. From knowledge to acknowledgement, a major breakthrough. With Thanksgiving on Thursday, acknowledgement will rise with appreciation to those we have loved for so long. The spirit of appreciation, the sweetest of songs. William James saw the craving of appreciation to be the deepest principle of human nature. Be generous with it in this skyward season. The planets are short on air this week. Social and connected air. Holidays for the most part will be celebrated remote. With both Mercury and Venus in Scorpio, communication and relating is not short on depth. Over the phone or online, connection is primed to make up for the distance of space and time zone. With a sense of belonging, Scorpio's powerful lodestone. And even if no socialization occurs, tune into a place that makes your blood stir. Earth magic abounds from its depths and yours too, from a profound nothingness to the profundity of blue. Venus will oppose the great awakener Uranus in the bountiful earth of Taurus, William Blake's thankful receiver who bears a plentiful harvest. Mars moving onward from the middle of Aries, no other direction better for such energy must be the season of the horse, with those wide open plains. The galvanized will grips gladly the reins. Ready to check him are Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn, who continue in Capricorn, a most hyper-real pattern. Empowered hope and strong practicality, looming threats and good news in the same actuality. As Robert Frost said, the best way out is always through. Neptune in Pisces, the sea chariot that navigates a blue inner sky. The moon begins the week waxing gibbous in the later degrees of Pisces, saturated with imaginative potential. Be open to nuance, suggestion, and subtlety. New roads of dreams are paved with discovery. 
On Tuesday, original day of Mars, she will grow into Aries by mid-morning. In the season of blue skies, a redness bursts forth, the connection of action to a home base of hearth. As Rainer Maria Rilke wrote, all the soarings of my mind begin in my blood. This kindred fire of moonlight grows through Thanksgiving Day. Big and bold, this Aries moon, singing in a red, mysterious tune of memory, family, belonging, and desire. Towards what does your wolf-like yearning aspire? Joyce Carol Oates called the blood memory without language. By Friday, as Venus receives her strongest electrical wave from Uranus, the moon moving into luxurious Taurus wants in on the act. A sensual, relaxing, yet altogether lively signature, much like the way Goethe described the color blue. In his words, this color has a peculiar and almost indescribable effect on the eye. As a hue, it is powerful, but on the negative side, and in its highest purity is, as it were, a stimulating negation. Its appearance, then, is a kind of contradiction between excitement and repose. Perhaps it is this blue energy that prompts Neptune to finally station to move direct on Saturday, after nearly five months of retrograde. The stimulating negation, the effortless creation of a dream. By Sunday midday, she waxes extremely gibbous in Gemini, and there is at last air in the planetary lineup. Perspective and ease of rationality, a lightness perhaps, or just some good old-fashioned fresh air. She moves towards being not only a full moon, but a full moon lunar eclipse in sparkling Gemini, the dance of the twins. This event will be exact the following Monday at 4 a.m., so both nights will be excellent opportunities to view it. As a lunar eclipse, the Earth will be in between the Sagittarian sun and the Gemini moon, casting an Earth shadow, darkening the light, likely casting a coppery red tone. In the season of lightened darkness, we have a darkened brightness. The twins laugh with delight. Use the youthful energy of Gemini moonbeams to acknowledge possibilities that are yet to be seen. Shine the light on just one and create something new. And Gemini loves words, especially the ones that need to be heard. Acknowledge another with a kind-hearted word. It may kindle music from happiness's blue bird. From granted to gracious, life gets more spacious. Eve Klein wrote his name on the sky, painting monochrome surfaces to see with his own eyes. An absolute freedom, his words exact. For the horse, it's a wide open space that attracts. As always, happy astro pondering. For contact information and more, visit me at happyastropondering.com.